in a time of wonder, lived the most amazing creatures ever to walk the earth. Like me. Wait, that's not me. That's me, down here. Hi, I'm Shelley Morrison for the Fan Carpet, and we're here at Leicester Square for the premiere of Walking with Dinosaurs, the 3D movie. Jurassic Park, there's been lots of dinosaur films. What's, what's different about this one and why do dinosaurs have this lasting appeal? Well, these are real dinosaurs. This is about a real age that existed 70 million years ago with the most wonderful parts of real dinosaurs that really live together. So this is like time travel. We're taking you back to that prehistoric age as if you were really there. And why are dinosaurs fascinating? Well, in the whole history of Earth, four and a half billion years, there have never been more spectacular, more spectacular and awesome animals ever. So wouldn't you be interested in this? But I think the other thing is, they're gone. So for kids, they're monsters. They're not monsters where they come around the corner and eat you. So there's kind of a safe danger. You can be scared, but not too much. It's so great. Um, I think there's several elements, really, which is we spent at least a year doing so much scientific research, R&D around the characters, the build of the characters, how they moved, um, um, their skin, what would that look like, the colours of the skin. So, so much was really based initially on science in terms of how do I take audiences back to a world, a real world, that truly existed but we could never otherwise travel to. And then once you have that world, you're then able to, uh, able to overlay the story and the emotion. And I think that for me is this, the very big difference, is that you, our focus was first and foremost on creating a world and really the behaviour of these dinosaurs would have actually, and the kind of the troubles, the troubles and tribulations they went through, um, and then the story was on top of that. And I think it's that combination that's really unique. Tell me about your role in this film. Um, well, it's obviously mainly dinosaurs, as you can probably tell. But there's a bit at the beginning and at the end, human interaction. And uh, I've got a part in that. And they, um, they asked me to do it. And I love the previous TV show, so I was like, oh, yeah. And has, was there any question of this not being a 3D movie? I mean, no, that was right from the very beginning it was going to be a 3D movie because if we were going to take people back in time, the 3D gives you an even greater sense of actually being there, being there amongst the dinosaurs, and so it's been a key part of the storytelling of this movie. Been exciting to be a part of this sort of epic 3D experience. Yeah, I've never done 3D before, so that was. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing, to seeing myself in 3D. That's weird. Seeing the real me. Um, yeah, hugely exciting. And the filming was in New Zealand, so that was amazing. Um, and got to see some of the Hobbit sets and things like that. So it was a huge excitement. The biggest challenges for you as a, as a director to bring this to life? I, I think there were two big challenges. One was balancing uh, a, a, an entertaining story that everyone would love and come to the cinema to watch with the reality and getting that balance right. Real dinosaurs but engaging characters in a great story. And the other was creating that world, creating that world with such realism in the animation and the backgrounds that you really would believe you were there in a real world. It's not an animated world. Film. It should feel like action. Is it bringing out the inner child in you a little bit? The inner child is always out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it hasn't. Um, I haven't even looked at dinosaurs since I was like eight, so um, I was very interested. Thank you. Personally, I learned loads about dinosaurs because I wasn't such a dinosaur nerd. So now I, my dinner party conversation is quite interesting. But I think one of the things that was also interesting when we were building the dinosaurs up from the bones and the, the kind of muscles, we actually learned about how they move. So we worked with about six paleontologists on the film, and they learned because by the time you're in an animation studio and you test the way that you think they're going to move and then you realize they couldn't have actually possibly moved that way walked that way flown that way so there are actually real breakthroughs in thinking about some of the movements of the dinosaurs that are completely unique and never been done before um, for me it was more about how got the range of dinosaurs and the spectrum of dinosaurs and how some of the pluckiest like the truodon were by far the smartest and it sort of dispelled some of the myths but also brought them to life in a far more human way I think in New Zealand, didn't we, you? We filmed right? the backgrounds in New Zealand and Alaska, yeah, um, which most closely represented Alaska 70 million years ago, because this story is all, it's all set in the Arctic Circle. These dinosaurs live near the North Pole. It was a little bit warmer there, they couldn't live there now, 
Um, but South Island, New Zealand and Southern Alaska are pretty close to what the climate and so on was like back then. Was it fun filming there? It was. It was fun filming. But of course, the tricky thing was, we were filming, but we didn't have any actors. Because we were filming the background, so we just had to imagine these great dinosaurs in our shots. So one of the most magic moments for me as a director of the whole film was when we were back at Animal Logic, the animation studio, and finally put the backgrounds of the dinosaurs together in, in single images, and then it all came to life. And that was just, that was just not fun. adventure is about to begin. 